Hey, I'm Charlie from Sandhouse, and I'm here with Lucy Pohl. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. Do you know what your first musical memory is? I do. My mother is a singer, and so my first musical memory is my mother singing to us. My mother's from Romania, so she would sing us um, Romanian gypsy songs to go to sleep. And uh, so that's my first musical memory, yeah. Wow. Do you remember any of them? I don't speak Romanian, so I can kind of like fake it. Um, I remember most of them because she's still she's still a singer, and she actually performs a lot of the she used to sing to us to go to sleep. A lot of them are Maria Tanase songs, and then some of them, like I said, are gypsy songs. Um, they're beautiful songs. Wow, brilliant. Do you remember the first piece of music that you bought? that I bought. Um, this is probably, I'm going to go with David Hasselhoff. I'm crazy for you because <laughs> I was born in Germany and I, I was eight, eight when we moved to New York. So um, to be a certified German person, you have to have been a David Hasselhoff fan, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, and I think, yeah, that's the first piece of music I remember buying a, a cassette tape, wow. a David Hasselhoff cassette tape. Do you still have it? No, I don't, but I do still have a letter that I wrote to him. Oh. Um, seven, asking him for an autograph. I never sent it, apparently, because otherwise I wouldn't oh, yeah. have <laughs> It's on Ghostbusters stationery. Wow. And it basically says that um, even though I'm a girl, he's my idol, and all I want to do is hang out with him and the Baywatch team, and oh. I love him. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Bless David. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you remember the first show you ever went to? That's also um, a hard one because my my dad is in theater. Uh, he's a, a playwright and an actor. So I grew up going to shows and kind of sleeping backstage and hanging out <laughs> backstage. So I don't remember exactly my first like um, show in a live venue, but I think the first first mu one of the first music like big music shows that I went to was um the Michael Jackson Dangerous concert in Hamburg wow yeah look at you go <laughs> I know that was I'll never forget that um yeah that was unforgettable That's I think I was about I don't know I must have been like six or I don't know something somewhere around there wow that that is actually pretty cool <laughs> wow What's your favorite snack or soft drink? Um, my favorite snack is dark chocolate. And um, my favorite soft drink, Coca-Cola. <laughs> how did you get involved in, in acting? And then how did you sort of make the transition into voiceover work? So, as I said, I grew up in a very theatrical family, so that's kind of, that was kind of our family trade, and that was kind of all that I knew, and um, so I, as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be an actor and a performer, and um, so that's kind of how uh, that, it kind of grew organically out of my upbringing, <laughs> um, and then, you know, I started doing plays in school and and auditioning for stuff when I was like in my teens and then uh, I, I applied for acting school and got in and went to acting school and that's kind of how that happened. And voice acting uh, kind of happens to most actors that, um, that have a distinct voice, I would say at least, you know, that I, I didn't like actively seek it out, but um, it kind of also came to me. I, you know, I got asked to do uh, one job that I think was like a language learning program, and then that went really well. And so I kind of learned how to use my voice in that setting. And then, you know, one thing kind of led to another, and I and I really enjoy it. I really like doing voiceover work, and because I'm I'm a comedian as well, and I have. Um, I'm very fortunate to be able to do lots of different voices and accents. I've always uh, really enjoyed playing with my voice and and using my voice. So uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of came to me, but then I I sought it out more as well. The more I started doing it and enjoying it. 
Brilliant. You just mentioned there that you're a comedian. You did some shows, in fact, like under a week ago, more recently. Yeah. Um, yeah, what? I do shows pretty regularly. I have three solo hours that I've written uh, that I've taken to the Edinburgh Edinburgh <laughs> <laughs> um, Festival. And so I, I do shows pretty regularly in New York and actually wherever I am. If I'm in London, I do shows in London. And in Germany, I've traveled to, I've done my shows in Bucharest, Romania, and in all different weird places all over the world. Brilliant. So you've got your acting and then you've got your comedianness. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh -huh. more recently, you were star you were cast as mercy in o overwatch yes when sure. how did that did you apply for the role or did they reach out and say we've got this role it was a very traditional kind of thing um they my cat my agent you know sent me on on a casting or sent me a casting and i recorded it at home which is very um, which happens a lot these days that you kind of do like a self tape from home first and then they, they pick people for a callback. So that's how it happened. I got, you know, an audition from my agent. I put myself on tape and then they, uh, called me in for a callback and then they chose my voice based on, you know, the work we did in that callback. Amazing. <laughs> what sort of after that point, I guess, what was it like working with Michael and Andrea from Blizzard? They're so awesome. I really, I really love them. They're really great people. It's um, been such a pleasure and an honor and a thrill to be part of this world. And they're so good at what they do and they're so passionate. And, um, you know, they've created this amazing universe for people. So I'm, um, I really respect that. And uh, I myself was not into gaming mm. per se. But um, I've really been drawn into the world now, and they've been really, really, really great. I, I really love, love them with all my heart. They're great people. <laughs> so, yeah, good Brilliant. stuff. You just mentioned you're not really a gamer, as I think a lot of the VAs aren't. Um, have you, like, found yourself trying out the game, or is it like, no, don't? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have, actually, recently, and... Um, I'm a little bit like afraid because I think that if I play more, then I will just disappear from the face of the planet <laughs> and <laughs> and just play the game. So um, because I did, I played like when I was a kid, I played video games, the ancient ones, you know, <laughs> like Super Nintendo and stuff like that and Game Boy. But um, so it's not like. I, I do, you know, appreciate um, that it's fun and and uh, a really enjoyable thing to do. So I'm a little bit afraid of playing it too much because I think I'll get drawn in too much. Because it isn't amazing. It's like, it's just a parallel universe, isn't it? Yeah. It's... Yeah. But some of the gamers have been coming to my shows, which is really nice. So I'm getting to meet people, which I really like. Um, and, and that's so awesome, you know, meeting the fans and the people that are actually, uh, the ones driving this game forward. That's the fans, you know? So mm. that's really cool. You've mentioned previously that you didn't really, you weren't aware of the kind of sort of subculture that it had around it. Was there a specific point when it hit you? Like, okay, wow, this is, this is a big deal. Um... Yeah, I think actually, because the game came out, I guess, um, yeah, it came out last year and it kind of sort of hit me when I was in Edinburgh last summer, in the summer of 2016, and people were like coming up to me and being like, oh my God, are you, like we read that you're Mercy on Overwatch or <laughs> one guy I spoke to about my show and then he was like, wait, are you mercy on overwatch <laughs> your voice sounds like her voice and i was like whoa this is crazy so kind of being face to face with people in a place that i don't you know in a place where i don't live and so i kind of um am not in my usual uh 
uh, places and, and, um, you know, you kind of get out more when you're in a place that you don't, that you don't, you, you're not usually in, uh, that was, that kind of opened my eyes to how big it is just meeting so many different people that all knew about it and were all fans and were all super excited and like recognized my voice just from me speaking to them, which is crazy. Cause I don't have the same accent and my voice is a little different on the game, you know? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, how how strict were sort of the guidelines you got when you were being cast, or did you sign, kind of find the voice yourself? Uh, no, they weren't very strict. Um, you know, you never know what what people are looking for when you get like a breakdown for a character. Um, so I think that it was really just about finding the right quality of voice. Um, and I just kind of intuitively did what I thought a character like that, like a, a healer character, would kind of, you know, sound like. And and I guess it was the right, the right way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Have you ever been asked to sign something really weird? No, I haven't. I have not been asked to sign anything weird. But that might be happening looks like I'm going to a few conventions this year. Um, so that might, that might happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always, whenever someone says, actually, no, I haven't, I, I always think that there's just a whole audience who's like, okay, that sounds like a personal challenge. Oh, and you're no. going to get like a football helmet or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, no, so far it's just been like flyers and posters and I don't think so. I, if it, no, I don't, I don't think I can remember anything, but I'm sure I'll have better stories for you after, after these conventions that, um, that I'm going to be going on. Can you announce which conventions you're going to? No, I can't <gasps> yet. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I'm can't. so sorry, but I will be in Nottingham next weekend for the Red Dwarf convention. So that's what? something. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, Dimension Jump is what it's called. Brilliant. I can't believe you hit me with that good convention bait and then you've, you've taken it. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. All right. So as, as your character, Mercy, you've got a whole load of voice lines. And I imagine that at least for a part of it, the recording sessions all kind of blur together. But... Are there any voice lines that stick out as your favorite or your favorite to record? Uh, I think, sorry, I'm going to have to be boring, but I think Heroes Never Die is an awesome line <laughs> because in a way it's true, right? And it's very <laughs> inspirational. I love that. And then I really like the line, did someone call a doctor? I love that. Because <laughs> um, it's kind of cheeky, as you guys would say, but <laughs> also in character and so yeah, um, yeah, I think those two are like my favorite ones. Wonderful. What's your favorite cake and what's your favorite ice cream? Cheesecake and God, I can't, I, I love all ice cream. The only ice cream I don't love is vanilla. I love all other ice cream. So it's easier to put it that way. Whoa, what's wrong with vanilla? <laughs> I just find it boring and I'm not like the biggest milk, milk fan, I guess. Mm. I like chocolate. I love like ras. I, I love all sorbets. I love salted caramel. There's this amazing ice cream place in New York called um, Oh my God, Laboratorio del Gelato or something. <laughs> A little bit wanky like that. <laughs> and um, but they have like licorice ice cream and black wow. sesame, and so I go there and just like spend the whole day there. Brilliant. Is is wanky a, a valid? descriptor um is it i don't know did i make that up i might have i, I mean it's good enough it sounds amazing but... <laughs> <laughs> all right um wonderful thank you so so much for speaking to us cool thank you so much charlie great to meet you over the airwaves <laughs> it's close enough auf wiedersehen auf wiedersehen